Hello everyone, this is me Ryan, some of you know me as John Doe, right here in um, Tokyo, Japan. Now, it appears that uh, Mr. Hashimoto recently uh, had a little luncheon at the um, Foreign Correspondence Club, I believe, yeah. And he straight up denied ever seeing that comfort women, as they call it, or sex slaves, were necessary during during World War II. That's a lie. He actually did say it, but um, that's a typical type of um, flip flopping, denying, strap line that goes on in bourgeois politics. Now Abe isn't. Let me excuse me. Hashimoto is <laughs> an extreme right winger, but he does fall in line with bourgeois politics absolutely, totally. So this is typical behavior. But unfortunately, Mr. Hashimoto, you did say that. Now he claims it, it was not his intention to say that. That's really odd, you know, like he's saying basically, I was stupid. I said something wrong, but I'm not going to apologize. You know, he's going to sit back and say this typical garbage that goes on in all these capitalist type of uh, countries of, that... um. Oh, well, I said something that was really terrible, so I'm going to lie and say I didn't intend to say that. But it came out of your mouth. You said it. You can't not go back and unsay something you said. Okay, you can refuse to apologize. That's great. You know, but he did back off on one thing uh, when he recently met with an uh, American military commander, and he suggested that... Um, that the U.S. servicemen should take advantage of the legal sex industry in Osaka to help alleviate the, what he quote-unquote says, extra energy of the soldiers and the troops. Yeah, so he apologized for that. But let's look at why he's saying what he's saying really quick, okay? Now, number one, domestically, he doesn't want to back off from his stance. Because there is a rising trend towards fascism in Japan and extreme right-wing mentality. So he's playing on that because that's what's got him this far. So he's not going to back down from that because that's his um, bread and butter at the moment, right? He's feeding people all this crap and they're eating it up because it makes, like I said, a scared, confused culture feel good. You know, someone's standing up for us. Instead of it being a true leader and facing the issues that, that Japan is facing these days. He's not going to do that. He's going to do a hyperboil. He's going to grandstand. He's going to feed on people's fears and stuff like that. Now, the reason he did apologize to the U.S. military, well, that's pretty clear. The Japanese government has been a puppet of the U.S. for ever since after the war. They never really truly gained their independence back. And... Imperialism and imperialist, imperialist class were never fully wiped out of Japan due to America's inexperience at the time of dealing something with something like that. And of course, you know, America's on this crusade to stop communism at the time. So, you know, when things break out in Korea, they suddenly just finished, half finished the job in Japan and leave, you know, Japan had democracy basically stolen from it. They had it, and then it was taken from them when America decided to cut a deal with these former imperialists to form a, what they call a government here in Japan. So, you know, he's just kissing America's butt on that one. Because he doesn't want to jeopardize the military agreement that Japan and America has by coming out and saying crazy things, because the crazy part of this is that he's been kind of pegged to be a future prime minister. Yes, yeah, seriously. The Japan Restoration Party could very well become the majority party in the near future. Or it could merge with the LDP. Because in Japan they have a one-party dominant system where basically one party is carte blanche to be the majority until it becomes clear that, that party cannot maintain control of this country and cannot operate effectively. You can look up one-party dominant systems later, but that's what Japan has. So either 
they're going to let Japan Restoration Party take fully over. Uh, when Abe finally fall, falls on his damn face, and they'll arrange that to have like a, what they call an election and all that. Or it'll merge, it'll break up, and it'll splinter off into minor parties. And Ashimoto will join the LDP, and the remainder of the, the Japan Restoration Party will probably break up, break up into splinter groups or maintain a minority party status. So that's what's going on here. He's playing politics. He's playing bourgeois politics and playing it quite well. I'm sorry, Ashimoto, you said what you said. You still believe that sex slaves are necessary during wartime. Nothing you say will ever change that. You may be able to lie and fool people here in Japan, but those of us who are intelligent enough to see the grand scope of things and to look at things from a more dialectical, materialist perspective, clearly see what you're doing, homeboy. So, that's what's going on in Japan with Mr. Hashimoto. So, until next time, this is me here in Japan. Check it out.